Hello and welcome to Yankee Woodworks. Uh, if you're watching this video, you most likely had an issue with your motor, whether it was damaged in shipping or maybe you got a faulty motor. Um, just a note on the motors. These are the best motors that we can find. They're made in the United States and have higher quality than any other motor that we've tested. So a couple notes. First, you have um, your motor here. And I did want you to notice the end here that it does have a little slot on the side of it. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. There is a larger brass nut here. You have the smaller nut that holds the minute hand on. The minute hand itself, the long one, does have a slot that's in it, and that's going to line up with the motor slot. And then the hour hand has a brass grommet, and that's going to slide over the shaft of the motor. So the first thing we're going to do is move a couple things, and then we're going to slide on the motor. So what I want to do first is take the, the motor end from the back side, slide that in the hole here, hold on to that, and from the top side, I want to put on this very thin nut. Now it's common that you can get this cross threaded where it's not right. So what I like to do is spin it backwards a little bit and I can feel the thread drop and then it should go on with your fingers very easily. No tools should be used to go down. If so, you got it cross-threaded. So I'm going to snug this up, and then I'm going to stand the clock up on its side, make it easier. I'm going to hold on to that nut with my finger. From the back side, I'm actually spinning the motor. We just found this to be much easier. You're going to make this snug. You don't want to go too tight, because um, you could potentially break the motor. Just snug. You're only trying to hold the weight of the hands. Uh, it doesn't have to go over tight. I'm going to set this back down. I'm going to grab the minute hand now, and I'm going to line up those marks so they fall in. And then I'm going to rotate the hand so it points towards the 12 at the top of the clock. All right, it's going to be very loose, and that's okay. It's as long as it points towards the 12. I'm going to pull that back off. The next thing I'm going to do is grab the hour hand, and it's pointed towards the 12 right now as well. And I'm, with two thumbs, I'm going to press down and slide that grommet onto that shaft. So it should look like that. The next part is going to be to take the minute hand and place that on. Then finally grab the tiny, hard to handle little brass nut here and slide that on. That should go on about a half turn or more. If it doesn't go that far, that probably means you cross-threaded that. And make sure that that's not. Make sure you get it straight and then it threads on. You should feel that the minute hand doesn't, uh, it'll wiggle back and forth, but it's not like extremely loose. Next part I'm going to do is stand this up, but I want to talk about why first. If you look here, you'll see that the hands are actually touching each other. That's because gravity is pulling down on this minute hand. All right, But we need to adjust it with the clock actually standing up. So I'm going to do that now. As I stand it up, I'll see that... As this goes by, these are very close to each other. So what I'm going to do is, i do this one-handed, is just bend that minute or the hour hand towards the face of the clock a little bit. And now you'll notice that I have some clearance in between the two hands. If that isn't enough, you could always bend the minute hand out a little bit as well. Now we have to worry about the tail down here because the tail could sweep around and touch the hour hand. So I'm just going to go around and give it a turn, and I can just hear it touching right there. So I'm just going to take and just bend that tail out just a little bit, but I want to check that up front again as well. Okay, I can just hear that, so maybe a little bit more. And now I have clearance on both of those where they shouldn't be touching each other. Yeah, it's just a little bit, so I'll just do that tail just a little bit more. All right, now I have full clearance. Nothing's catching each other. So now what you can do is put the battery in the back. It's a double-A battery. And then put in a, um, you can hang it on your wall. You can adjust it. You don't have to take the clock off the wall to adjust the time. Just with your finger, just move the minute hand. I wouldn't go any faster than what I'm doing right now. Those little gears are really spinning in there. Um, and then just set the time to, to the time that it is. All right, thanks for watching.